When you look into uh, the business of respiratory drug delivery, I think there are many challenges. At least with the United States FDA, only one out of every 16 of these types of drugs ever gets approved. It's been a great couple of days in New York, uh, hearing some great speakers, some great talks, uh, some fantastic panel discussions. The venues have been absolutely fantastic and the entire team has done a wonderful job. excited about the new opportunities for drugs delivered through the nasal passages or through the lung, uh, especially in light of the pandemic. Sustainability is one of the big issues facing the respiratory industry. And it's very important moving forward that with every new device, every new device and drug combination that we put into the market, we make sure that we have as low a carbon footprint as possible. In the inhalation and nasal delivery, uh, the pipeline is evolving quite rapidly and into innovative areas with new diseases, new indications, new targets, and that require from the development companies and manufacturing companies different approaches. This complexity is not always well understood even within our industry, and so we do our best to bring our expertise in understanding devices, understanding the way patients use them, and understanding how the formulation interacts with both the device and the patient. The RESCON Summit is just the right size in terms of the number of people. You can network with everybody and get to know everybody. And that really helps in terms of knowledge sharing and, uh, and understanding what other people are doing and, um, and how that can influence the development of your own drugs and your own devices.